45 French unions and associations have urged President Macron to reject the controversial immigration law recently passed by the French parliament. In a joint statement on Saturday, they condemn it as a pivotal moment for foreigners in France. The rally plans to continue protests on January 11, aiming to expand mobilization against the law and its ideology. The UN Security Council expressed its concern about the spread of violence in Sudan with the displacement of more than 7 million people after the expansion of fighting between the two sides of the conflict in the country. According to a joint statement, the council called on the parties to the conflict in Sudan to allow rapid, safe and unimpeded humanitarian access to all parts of Sudan. Ukrainian forces reported the downing of three Russian Su-34 fighter bombers in the southern region. The commander of the Ukrainian Air Force via telegram statement confirmed the incident on Friday afternoon. Local media linked the explosions in the Kherson region to the Ukrainian air defenses, engaged in shooting down the planes. Iraq, Nigeria and the Republic of the Congo OPEC members have reaffirmed their commitment to the oil producers group following Angola's withdrawal last week. The Congolese Minister of Hydrocarbons emphasized strong support for unity within OPEC and the OPEC Plus Alliance to maintain global oil market balance. Nigeria confirmed its dedication to OPEC's goals, addressing concerns within Nigeria and across the African continent. Simultaneously, Iraq expressed continuous support for the organization, signaling a readiness to make the largest reduction in supplies among the group's members in the next month to align with its new quota.